Today we are at Spitterfields Market and here's an honest review of everything we tried. We started off the day by getting a cheese toasty from We Are Melt. They have four toasties to choose from. We went for the melt which had pulled barbecue beef brisket, a mixture of cheeses on sourdough bread with a dunking pot of gravy. This one sounded naughty. So all there is left to do is watch them grill your sandwich until the cheese is oozing and the bread is golden brown and crispy. And there you have a lovely looking toasty. This one cost £10. We gave the toasty a good bath in the gravy and had a taste. The bread was lovely and crispy and the filling was really tasty, but unfortunately the gravy wasn't that great for me. It's quite watery and didn't have much flavour. Aerate it. Warm it up. And the toasty didn't actually taste as good when you dipped it into the gravy, somehow diluting the flavour of the toasty, if you get what I mean. I think it's better without the gravy. So if you do try the toasty, just bin off the gravy. I'd rate this actual toasty an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Next up, we went to Dumpling Shack to try out, surprise, surprise, their dumplings. We got the pan fried pork soup ones with chili oil, which looked great, and they cost £7.80. You would normally eat these with a spoon so you can drink the soup easily, but I couldn't find a spoon. Well, I probably didn't look that hard enough for one. So I thought I'd just give it a go, biting and sucking the soup, but yeah, that didn't work very well. So definitely ask for a spoon when eating these, otherwise you'll spray boiling hot, delicious soup juice everywhere. The soup inside the dumpling was really flavorful and the dumpling was nice and crispy on the bottom. The pork inside the meatball was really juicy and flavorful. I really enjoyed the overall flavor of these dumplings and they were nice and spicy. I give these a nine out of 10. After that, we fancied something a bit different, so we went to Kara Pin Cha, which served Sri Lankan food. We ordered Kothu Roti with lamb, which was a stir-fry mixture of roti, vegetables, lamb, and a blend of Sri Lankan curries. It's then topped with sauce and fresh bits. This bowl cost £10.75. The bowl was really tasty and had a great flavour from the curries. The pomegranate seeds and sauce added a nice freshness, but there wasn't enough of it for me. Everything in the bowl was of a similar soft texture, so after a few bites, it all became a bit samey. It would have been better with some more crunchy and crispy crispy textures, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. Side note, I saw this Ainsley Harriet t-shirt shimmering in the sun, calling to me, and I thought it'd be rude not to pick it up. Give your meat a good old rub. <laughs> yeah, boy. What would you rate it out of 10? Let me know in the comments. Finally, we went to try the hand-pulled noodles at Fen. As the name suggests, the noodles are hand-pulled, but I wasn't expecting this technique. I had to re-watch it a few times to fully understand what was going on, because they did it so quickly. We got the spicy beef shin dry mix with hand pulled noodles which cost £9.10. The noodles were very good, they were fresh and chewy and the beef was tender. But I'm not actually going to rate this one as I think I ordered wrong for my preference. It said on the menu that it was a dry mix but I wasn't expecting it to be that dry. The spice level was great but for me I felt like it needed a sauce or something to bring it all together and provide more flavour. So out of all the food we ate today I definitely recommend checking out the cheese toasty from We Are Melt and the dumplings from Dumpling Shack. There are so many options in Spitalfield Market so let me know in the comments your favorites or things I missed off and need to go back and try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.